Hi there. It's January 15th, and we are on day 15 of our Through the Bible in One Year <coughs> in chronological order, which its stories and events, and events occurred, not as they were placed in the Bible. We are on Job. This is the last two chapters of Job. And God started speaking yesterday, almost in a very sarcastic nature, asking the Asking all the people, you know, there, Job and his three friends, you know, did you set the stars in the heavens? Did you do this? I mean, he was very pointed about it. <coughs> so, let's jump over there and we'll finish up Job today. <coughs> and the Lord said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? He who argues with God, let him answer it. Yeah. yeah. Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Fault finders. That's what he found. Uh, Job's three friends. Only oh, pointing out, well, you must have did this wrong. Right? Job promises silence. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once, and I will not answer twice, but I will proceed no further. The Lord challenges Job. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Dress for action like a man. What is this action? Gird up your loins. Dress for action like a man. I will question you and you will make it known to me. Will you even put me in the wrong? Will you condemn me that you may be in the right? Have you an arm like God? And can you thunder with a voice like his? Adorn yourself with majesty and dignity, clothe yourself with glory and splendor, pour out the overflowings of your anger, and look on everyone who is proud, and abase him. What a abase him? Believe in a way that belittles or degrades someone. Ah. Believe in a way that belittles or degrades someone. Huh. Look, every, look on everyone who is proud and abase them. Hmm, that's interesting. <clears throat> look on everyone who is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked where they stand. Hide them all in the dust together. Bind their faces in the world below. Then I will acknowledge to you that your own right hand can save you. Behold behemoth. Behemoth. Exact identity unknown. Well, what does that say in the new international version? I'll look that up real quick. <coughs> this is Job 40, 15. Look at the behemoth which I made along with you. <coughs> Behold the behemoth which I made as I made you. He eats grass like an ox. Behold his strength in behold his strength in his loins and his power in the muscles of his belly. He makes his stale tail stiff like cedar. The sinews of his thighs are knit together, his bones are tubes of bronze, his limbs are bars of iron. That kind of sounds like an elephant, doesn't it? <coughs> but it doesn't say exactly. He is the first of the works of God. Let him who made him bring near his sword, for the mountains yield food for him, where all the, where all the wild beasts play. Under the lotus plants he lies, in the shelter of the reeds and in the marsh. For his shade the lotus trees cover him, the willows of the brook surround him. Behold, if the river is turbulent, he is not frightened. He is confident, though Jordan rushes against his mouth. Can one take him by his eyes or pierce his nose with a snare? <laughs> right. If it is an elephant, then... Right. What do you want? <coughs> Can you draw Leviathan? Which is exact unknown. It's a big sea creature. Right? Can you draw Leviathan with a fish hook <laughs> or press down his tongue with a cord? Can you put a rope on his nose? Can you pierce his jaw with a hook? We will make. Will he make many pleas to you? Will he sp speak to you in soft words? Will he make a covenant with you to take him for your servant forever? Will you pay with him 
as with a bird, or will you put him on a leash for your girls? <laughs> will traders bargain over him? Will they divide him up among the merchants? Can you fill his skin with harpoons, or his head with fishing spears? Lay your hands on him. Remember the battle. You will not do it again. <laughs> yeah, that could be a whale. Okay, that's a big thing. Let's go ahead. Go ahead, fight him. You won't ever do that again. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Behold, the hope of man is false. He is laid low even at the sight of him. No one is so fierce that he dares to stir him up. Who then is he who can stand before me? Who has first given to me, then I should repay him. Whatever is under the whole heaven is mine. Right. I will not keep silence concerning his limbs or his mighty strength or his goodly frame. Who can strip off his outer garment? Who would come near him with a bridle? <laughs> Who can open the doors of, of his face? Around his teeth is terror. His back is made of rows of shields, shut up closely with a seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. So it sounds like something with scales. Huh? They are joined one to another. They clasp each other and cannot be separated. His sneezings flash forth light, and his eyes are like the eyelids of the dawn. Out of his mouth go flaming torches. Sparks of fire leap forth, a fire-breathing dragon. Hmm, that's interesting. Out of his nostrils come forth smoke, as from bo a boiling pot and burning rushes. His breath kindles coals, and a flame comes forth from his mouth. Wow. In his neck abides strength, and terror dances before him. The folds of his flesh stick together, firmly cast on him and immovable. His heart is hard as a stone, hard as the lower millstone. <clears throat> That's the bottom where the top one grinds the stuff on. When he raises himself up, the mighty are afraid. At the crashing they are beside themselves. Though the sword reaches him, it does not avail, nor the spear, the dart, or the javelin. He counts iron as straw and bronze as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. For him, sling stones are turned to stubble. Clubs are counted as stubble. He laughs at the rattle of javelins. His underparts are like sharp pot shards. He spreads himself like a threshing sledge on, a, on the mire and makes the deep boil like a pot. He makes the sea like a pot of ointment. Behind him, he leaves a shining wake. One would think the deep to be white-haired. On earth there is not his like. A creature without fear. He sees everything that is high. He is king over all the sons of pride. Hmm. And this whole thing sounds like he is... Um, <coughs> God is describing a fire-breathing dragon. Hmm. I just wonder where those stories come from. And he calls it the behemoth, which they can't translate. Interesting. Job's confession and repentance. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel with knowledge? Therefore I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you and you make it known to me. I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. Therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Or am comforted. The Lord rebukes Job's friends. <laughs> and after the Lord had spoken these words to Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Tiamite, My anger burns against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. Now therefore take seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up a burnt offering for yourselves, and my servant Job shall, shall pray for you. <laughs> for I will accept his prayer not to deal with you according to your folly. Foolishness. Eh? For you have not spoken of me what is right, and my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Tiamite and Bildad the Shuhite and Zophar the Namathite went and did what the Lord had told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. There you go, see? <coughs> <coughs> 
And you notice they didn't say anything to Elihu. The Lord restores Job's fortunes. There you go. This is it. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends, and the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then came to him all his brothers and sisters who had all known him before and ate bread with him in his house. And they showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. I don't know about that. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a ring of gold. And the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxes, 1,000 female donkeys, which is twice as much as he had before, right? He had also seven sons and three daughters, and he called the name of his first daughter Jemima. Hmm. Jemima. And the name of the second, Kazea, and the name of the third, Karen Hapuk. And all the land, and in all the land, there were no women so beautiful as Job's daughters. And their father gave them an inheritance among their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years and saw his sons and his sons' sons four generations out. And Job died an old man full of days. There you have it. Very interesting. That is my first time completing a, a study of Job. I mean, you've read it and, you know, you attend classes, but yeah no he's just saying to job he said to job's friends how dare you <laughs> i like that my anger burns against you and against your two friends for you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant job has <laughs> well and you know what the lord speaks and they did what he says but i'm going to remember this this 41 chapter 41 <laughs> Leviathan a large sea animal exact identity unknown hmm. I think it was the behemoth we were talking about huh? no behemoth was like the elephant hmm. so what does that say in over here hmm. can you pull in the Leviathan with a does it say in here? It just says Leviathan. Let's look this up. Leviathan. Leviathan is a sea serpent noted in theology and mythology. It is referenced in several books of the Hebrew Bible. Hmm. Hmm. A sea serpent. Book of Job, Isaiah, Amos, and the pseudographical work of Enoch. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Basically they're saying it's a sea monster. Nobody knows. But he says it's a sea monster, but it also says down there nobody can tame it <laughs> okay hmm. I'm looking for the part that said yeah, his back is made of rows of shields shut up closely with a seal where one is so near to the other no air can come between them they are joined one to another they clasp each other and cannot be separated his sneezings flash forth light it's 18. His sneezing throws out flashes of light. His eyes are like the rays of dawn. Fire brands steam from his mouth. So it's a sea creature. Flaming torches. Out of his nostrils comes forth smoke, and from boiling, from a boiling pot and burning rushes, his breath kindles coals, and a flame comes from his 
forth from his mouth, and his neck abides strength, and terror dances before him. The folds of his flesh stick together, firmly cast on him, and immovable. His heart is hard as stone, as hard as a lower millstone. When he raises himself up, the mighty are afraid, and at the crashing, they are beside themselves. Though the sword reaches him, it does not avail. The spear doesn't do anything. Clubs laughs at stuff. <laughs> His underparts are like sharp pot shards. <laughs> he spreads himself like a threshing sledge on the mire. Makes the deep boil like a pot, and he makes the sea like a pot of ointment. Behind him, behind him he leaves a shining wake. One would think the deep to be white-haired. On earth there is not his like. A creature without fear. He sees everything that is high. His, he is king over all the sense of pride. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <clears throat> Nobody knows exactly what it is. Some Leviathan some kind of a sea creature, but he has scales on top and sharp, pointed like pot shards on, the, on his underside. Any breeze fire. Hmm. No one knows whatever happened to the Leviathan. Interesting. So there you have it. That's the end of Job. That was exciting. We'll get back, back to Genesis tomorrow when the Lord's going to call Amos. So, and we'll continue. That was cool. I mean, I feel like an accomplishment. You know, we finished the whole, the whole book of Job, which is very interesting. But yeah, stay tuned. More to come. We're only on day 15, so it'll only get better. See you next time.